Each computer on the net has to have its unique numeric address in order to be identified and to communicate with other computers. We call this an IP address. It is similar to a telephone number. The format in which the IP addresses were invented long ago made this pool of numbers a potentially scarce resource. This format, known as IPv4 protocol, allows a maximum of 4.3 billion addresses. With the growth in the number of users and with new applications such as multimedia and broadband services, it was clear already in 1990s that a shortage of address space will occur and limit further growth of the Internet. So, in 1994, engineers initiated the development of a new protocol known as Internet Protocol version 6 or IPv6 to support expanding Internet usage and also to address security concerns. The main advantage of IPv6 over IPv4 is its extended format allowing for a much larger address space. IPv6 improves the efficiency of routing and processing of online traffic, supports directed data flows to specific sets of users, i.e. multicasting, simplifies network configuration, offers support for many new services and adds better security. But the transition between IPv4 and IPv6 will take time as it will require IPv6 to be supported by the entire Internet ecosystem. In transition, both protocol versions will coexist. This may cause some disruptions of the Internet, but engineers have devised a number of transition techniques. Transition will require a change of equipment, a change of software, additional knowledge for administrators and changes within Internet service providers. Global distribution of the new addresses should be fair and efficient to enable everyone to connect equally. Global policy for allocation of IPv6 address space guarantees uniqueness in number assignment, registration in a publicly accessible database, fairness in assignment of addresses and minimal costs. Even though IPv6 has improved security in a transition period, some new security threats may appear. Migration requires careful attention to security by everyone involved. With so many addresses available, each device can have unique IP address. This could facilitate the creation of online identities and targeted advertising and bring privacy concerns. Again, engineers have thought of a solution, creating pseudo-random addresses, i.e. temporary addresses. The technology is there to allow further growth of the Internet and to allow the next billion users to connect. But the awareness of it, the knowledge required to properly shape the related allocation and implementation policies, and the skills to implement it efficiently are needed.